Master Corgi here. I am in a hallway, and I know I'm supposed to get this lady, but I actually want to go exploring first. <gasps> friend! Hello, best friend! I have missed you so much. I want to squeeze you and love on you forever. You are my best friend. Mm. Hey, bitch boy, good morning! I'm gonna plug my nose whenever I talk about you because you're stanky. Even in this cra crappy situation, when I see that meat, I start to get kind of excited. Are you? Okay. <laughs> I'm not judging you for your choices, main character, but why are you getting excited for meat? Why am I so short? I am so tiny. I never even... I never even re- I am boob level with you! I couldn't escape it at all! Yeah, Makino's like me in real life too. Oh, there's a store! <gasps> there's a store! Oh, it's just the two of you right now. Are you on a date? Why do you keep assuming that? Huh? His assistant? What is that? Like, some kind of new roleplay thing? Sorry. Well, whatever. What you're into is your business. I don't judge. What the fuck? I don't like the shipping going on. Let, let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with two people who have muscles where their brains should be is not by choice. What the fuck is wrong with you? They, they're they trying to help you. Yeah, that was super mean. Yesterday you were complaining about how nobody invited you and the only that's the only reason I asked you to come with us. I never asked you to do that. S stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Oh my god! She's also a bitch! Alright, time to go to the gym, guys. Get a workout on. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away. Plus, if anything were to happen when the time comes, I'll protect you. You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. I've got you on my side. I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Oh, that's adorable! No fan fictions, please! You don't write fan fictions. I wish you were right and I wish that was true. But I know people still do, but it's wrong. It's wrong because that's a violation of that person's privacy. And I, I get like fantasizing about someone in your head. People do that when they have crushes all the time. But like writing a fan fiction that other people will see about someone else who is a real person, celebrity or otherwise, is just wrong. Oh, but you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um. No, it's not like it's boring, it's just, I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time for nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? Well, what about you, Saika? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I, my dream is, I've always wanted to be a star, as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. My dad worked really late every night. I was always home, alone. I was just a kid, so, you know, I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. Oh, this is adorable! She was so pretty, like a princess. And she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting right away. That's adorable! I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing! You were able to fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, even if some things that weren't that pleasant. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. They've been performing together since we were young, so they're like family to me. While I'm in here, the world is out forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Saika, I can't afford to be stuck in here. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiments? God forbid I talk to a male. That means we're dating. Oh my god, you like, you brushed hands in the mall for three seconds? Milliseconds? You're dating! Oh my god! God, save yourself for marriage! Jesus Christ! You know, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of shipping in this game. At least while she's alive. She had a crush on us! I... I know I just said making assumptions is bad, but if she was literally looking at us all the time, that is a telltale sign. I have not gone to go inside the potty yet. I have not done that. As my eyelids begin to slide, clo slide closed, the conversation I had with Sayaka that morning begins to replay. 
In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. She's The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did. I can't say I feel the way she does. Compared to her... No, compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt that I just don't mount up, match up. I guess that might explain my own frustration. Ahem, so I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun. But, there's still room for a little laughter. Seems our newest student is already filled up with despair. Seems some hope... I still have some hope of escape. Poo hoo hoo. So when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time? Is it time? Good morning. Is he have, does he have wine? In, in Missouri, we have this law where if you're with your parents, you can drink. No matter what age you are, if you're with your parents, you can drink. Which is a really cool, and it only applies to Missouri, from what I know. Cool story time, and a new, new information for some people. Well, just because you're a girl does not mean you should have to wear a short skirt, or just a sh skirt in general. Especially in school. Skirt Skirts in school just seem kind of predatory to me. Hi, Leon! Hmm, who do I actually want to talk to? I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. Could it be a robot with AI installed in it? No, we don't have that kind of technology in it. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future? We're gonna spend some time with best friends. You wanna sit down and chat for a while? I can have this? Thank you, it made me feel a bit better. Oh! Mm. No, what's wrong? Um. Ah, uh, it hurts. Did you get hurt? No. Oh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. I don't think there's mosquitoes in here. I figured something mysterious happened because of how huh? you were saying it hurt. Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize, it was my own fault. So you said it hurts, did it really bite oh. you that hard? Yeah, see, look. Oh no, I was awake, but you didn't notice? Mm -hmm. No, I noticed, but... You know? Well, I felt it... Oh, it was... A... She noticed it. Okay, it's... it is a mosquito bite. Damn it. I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. Oh, my God. Huh? Why didn't you not... Because I would have killed it, right? Yeah, well, you know? it must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was really hungry, I would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things, too. Oh, she's a pacifist. Sorry, I know it's dumb. No, you don't have to apologize. Don't go scratching at it, okay? That'll just make things worse. But what if it gets really itchy and I can't take it? Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push it into the bump. That'll help. Wow, I had no idea. So smart. She said that, and she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. So, that's a whole... If so, that's a whole nother animal level of scary. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? What is it? Well, this school is completely sealed off, so how did a mosquito get in? Maybe there's somewhere in the school that bugs can live and grow, like some sort of naturey spot. A naturey place in the school? I can't say for sure if there's not. Or, 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 maybe there's a secret passage that leads somewhere out of the school. Or, or, maybe there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage? Well, if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somewhere. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're small! Oh my god, she's almost as small as my cousin. Corgi, there's a map. There is a map! I'm using the map! I mean the other map. <laughs> I, I think I forgot. Uh, do you know what key it is? I'm gonna start pressing keys. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Junko. Hi. Slacking off again? Should I hang out for Junko with Junko for a while? Mm. Yeah, I'm bored yeah. too. Let's chill for a while. Damn, Akito, you got pretty good taste. Listen, I just want to make this clear up in front. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? What do yeah. you mean? I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything yeah. from me. Gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? What? What do you mean? No, I'm not expecting anything like that. Oh. I figured, you're not that kind of guy, right? Omega male. That's kind of insulting. Looking at you, I get the total Omega male vibe. But still, they can say even the sameest guy can turn into a wild animal. So I figured I'd say it anyway. Wild animal? Don't ask why, but I seem to attract guys like that. Probably because she's so flashy. 
They call me up super late, like, hey, let's hang. Like, I don't know what that means. Like, let's hang. Maybe she's not a dumb blonde. So, anyway, so we get together, but the whole groups of full of dumbasses. Where's the map? I can't be the thing where it says map. Keeping away creepos like that is a full-time job, you know? I mean, you're a model and all, so you must be really popular. Ah, yeah. oh, Makito, you actually get it. <laughs> you do get it. You totally get me. I do? Totally. Listen, I might be able to introduce you to my friends sometime. So what's your type? You're super passive, right? You need an aggressive girl. All right. So with that, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. It was great to talk to you all. Thank you, everyone, for following. All right. And I'll return to the main menu. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.